In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how we can work with the front and back relief in Jewel Smith simultaneously. Here we have our created pendant. Now it's a flat pendant at the moment, but we want to put some shape into this pendant. So what we're going to do with this one is I'm going to turn on in the 3D view my vectors. You can see I've pre-created a cross section here and I've just put in a line across here. So I'm going to come to my front relief and I'm going to create a new layer. My new layer I'm going to call my curve and the bottom layer is called the pendant. Now on my curve layer simply show my jewelry tools which I've pre-created as my own customized toolbar. I'm going to open the extrusion tool and I'm going to use this curve here, this line as my drive curve in which I'm going to extrude this curve here along and I'll just calculate this. So what we'll see is this curve extruded down this line. So I'll turn off my vectors and here we can see the curve. Now what we're going to do is just take a duplicate of this. So I'm going to come over here and right click and take a duplicate of that curve, that curved surface. I'm then going to right click and swap side sending it to my back relief. So when I switch over to my back relief, this is what we have on the back and this is what we have on the front. Now if we use the mesh creator, we could go through that process and we'd see what it would be, look like after triangulation. But if we just turn on my back relief on, this is viewing a double sided relief, my front and back relief together. So with my front and back relief, what we will see is how they interact without the requirements from going into the mesh creator. So we can see our completely curved pendant by viewing in this mode. Now if I was to change the curve at all, so we'll come across to this and we shall just turn back to our normal mode. We'll just switch back to the front relief and I'm going to create a new curve so we'll create a new relief. We'll call this curve one. I'm going to turn off my old curve and my back relief, turn off my old curve. That's where you go to my front relief. So we're now working totally on the flat relief itself, the flat plane. And I'm going to take a copy of this curve and just slightly change it. So I'm going to get it first to dip in and then change. And then I'm going to come back to the 3D view, turn on my vectors. So the same way we did before, right click and vectors. And then I'm going to open that extrusion tool again, use this curve here, select that and use it as a center line to drag my new curve along. So I'll calculate this. We'll see the difference in the surface we've produced here. So if I repeat the same process which we've done before, which was just to take a right click duplicate and a right click swap sides, and just take a look at my back relief. So my back relief is identical to my front relief. And turn on my back relief. It changes what my pendant looks like. Now the advantage to this is you're not needing to actually triangulate your model. But if you fully require to, I can actually now work on my back relief and then come across and switch to my front relief and I can view the full 3D model as it is and actually do some design on the model. So this is working with using a front and back relief model simultaneously.